Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 2 lesson 9, whereby your teacher will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to handle the topic on uh, transport in plants under the subtopic the closed circulatory system. Remember on our previous lessons we have done uh, something on the open circulatory system, so if you do not get the chance to um, follow the lesson, it's good that uh, you follow it, such that you comprehend what we mean by the open circulatory system. Uh, we are going to have the following lesson objective, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give differences. There are several differences between the open and the closed circulatory system. Um, so now we are going now uh, to explain about the closed circulatory system. By a closed circulatory system is found in uh, all vertebrates. In this system, a powerful muscular arch pumps blood into the specialized blood tubes. The blood tubes which carry blood to the blood tissues and back to the arch. In a closed circulatory system, blood uh, flows through the arch once or twice in every complete circuit, and this is what is known as single circulation and double circulation. So we have said that um, the blood flows to the arch either twice or once. And as you can see, we have got single circulatory system. That is whereby the arch, where the blood is flowing to the arch uh, once. And we have got uh, when um, the uh, uh, blood is flowing to the arch twice, whereby we, are, we have the double circulatory system. For example, in the mammalian circulation system. So we can go, go back to the single circulatory system. In such a, um, um, we say that single circulation is one where blood flows only once through the heart for every complete circulation. In such a circulation, the heart has only two chambers, one atrium and a ventricle, as you can see from our uh, diagram representation. For example, in the fish, uh, blood from the body tissues from flows into the atrium in singular. That is, uh, in plural, the atrium is known as the atria then into the ventricle. The ventricle then pumps the blood to the capillaries of the gills and onto the blood tissues and back to the heart. Um, now we, have we are going to have the double circulation system and in time is being explained by the mammalian uh, heart. In the mammalian heart is an example of um, double circulation system. Though we shall explain the diagram, this diagram later on but uh, this is just a representation of the double circulation uh, system. So we can say, in double circulation system, blood flows into the arch twice for every complete circulation. For example, as in mammals and birds, whose heart is divided into four chambers, whereby the four chambers we have the two atria and the two ventricles. Uh, deoxygenated blood from the body tissues enters the right atrium of the heart through the vena cava and it flows into the right ventricle from where it is pumped into the pulmonary artery to the lungs for oxygenation. This one you can follow the arrows as is being seen on uh, the diagram on our screen. Uh, from the lungs, oxygen-rich um, blood flows back into the heart through the pulmonary vein. The circulation where the oxygenated blood from body tissues is pumped from the heart to the lungs through the pulmonary artery and then oxygenated blood back to the heart through pulmonary vein is called pulmonary circulation. From the heart, the oxygenated blood is pumped to the rest of the body through the outer and the deoxygenated blood from the body tissues returns to the heart through the vena cava. This is called systemic circulation. Uh, the systemic part is much longer than the pulmonary part as it is transport blood to every part of the body. Now, um, this is the mammalian circulatory system which is on our diagram. And as you can see, uh, and as you are aware that mammals have a four-chambered heart. The right two chambers deal with deoxygenated blood, while the left two chambers deal with oxygenated blood. This ensures that deoxygenated and oxygenated blood does not mix. Powerful muscular heart pumps blood into the arteries, as you can see, the arteries from the our diagram. Uh, the arteries divide into much smaller vessels called arterioles, which in turn divide into even smaller uh, vesicles called capillaries. 
capillaries spread out in a network fashion in the tissues. The, capillary, uh, the capillaries eventually reunite to form venules that in turn form larger vessels called veins. The veins take blood back to the heart and as you can see you have um, the pulmonary vein and the rest. Uh, the advantage of double circulation uh, over single circulation is that blood flows at a higher pressure since it is pumped twice. Also, the oxygenated blood does not mix with the oxygenated blood. These advantages enable the birds and the mammals to be physically more active than animals with single circulation uh, circulatory system. Uh, we can have um, a brief um, um, comparison between the open and closed circulatory system, whereby one, um, this is that um, we can compare the open and the closed circulatory system, whereby one, in open circulatory system, blood is pumped into general body cavity, whereby the general body cavity we refer to is as the hemocoil, while in the closed circulatory system, the blood is pumped into closed vessels. Um, the second difference is that hemolymph loses pressure as it flows into hemocoil and flows slowly. Material supply to tissues is low, and animals are less active, that is in open circulatory system. But in closed circulatory system, a supply of materials to the tissues is faster and animals are more active. Uh, those are some of the differences between uh, the open circulatory system and a closed circulatory system. And also we can have the hemolymph, which is the transporting fluid, is in direct contact with the body tissues and cells exchange materials directly with the fluid, uh, while for the closed circulatory system, there is no direct contact between the blood and the tissues. Exchange of materials is in direct contact with the tissue fluid. Having done and said that, um, we can have the following activity, whereby you are required to give five differences between open circulatory system and the closed circulatory system. For more of this lesson and uh, more biology lessons, you can refer to KLB Secondary Biology Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition Nairobi Kenya Literature Bureau. And um, uh, to get uh, this lesson and many more biolo biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or you send us a um, message on our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to the uh, uh, channels that are appearing on our screen, so that we have this and many more of biology lessons. Welcome.